Hello once again everybody, this is High Lord Tamerlane with hopefully some a little less obscure in miniature, that doesn't make sense. Obscurity's in miniature, but hopefully not so much so today. Today we are going to show off, as I promised, I put together those Zealot Minotaur, Zealot Miniatures Minotaurs. And just to give you guys a good sense of scale at how awesome these dudes are. So here was our Siege Breaker friend with a Troll Forged... Troll Outpost. Troll Outpost Minotaur and a Mirce Minotaur. Our Mirce Minotaur friend here is probably as close of GW stand-in as I own these days. I will try to go get some GW Minotaurs this weekend just to give a further sense of scale and just because I'm in the mood for some Beast Men now. But he's about the size of a typical GW Minotaur. He's on a 50 millimeters round circle base. Our Troll Outpost friend is on a 40 and our Siege Minotaur here is on a 50 millimeter base. He is massive, and he is just an all around cool looking sculpt. I love the axe, he's got the braided hair with the claw hanging off it, shields, all kinds of various plates and armor just slapped on there. You can see he's got like um, braided hairs everywhere and plated hairs. Very nice figure, very fun to paint, hopefully. Not so fun to glue together. And I don't know if it was just my figures or my glue or what, but nobody, and I mean nobody, wanted to go together. They all three just had a horrible, horrible time wanting to stay in one piece. So besides him, I had, I believe he was called the Brute. And he does not want to stay on his base. He's going to end up getting pinned. Here is our brute friend. He doesn't seem as big as the Siege Minotaur, but I think he's a lot more vicious looking, and I like how armored up he is. I am a sucker for guys in way more armor than they really need. I'm also a sucker for not finishing detail. No, I guess I was going to complain about the fact that I didn't finish off the axe half there, but it looks like it's done that way intentionally with the wood splintering off from the base of the half. So again... Very nice sculpt, very fun details. He's going to be a lot of fun to paint. Not sure what's up with the spikes all over his back, though. One thing's for sure, he does not want to stand on his base. So, yeah, he's getting pinned, probably. And let's see if the 20-sided die will keep him up right. Yay, it did, sort of, kind of. Just to give you a sense of scale. So, our, so far, our Siege Minotaur seems to be in the lead of just imposing dude and actually being able to stand upright. We'll slide over our Mirce friend here and bring in the big boy that I got. That would be the Minotaur General. Now, this guy does not want to stay in one piece at all. The glue has been absolutely uncooperative with me the entire time I have tried to put him together. But you can see this dude is just honking. I mean, he doesn't even fit on the 50 millimeter base. He's not going on one. Let's see if I have a 60. Goodbye. And a mere 60 here. Templar's Forge. And he barely fits on that. I mean, this dude is just encased in armor. I love it on his back. He's got just like these big... Oh, crap. There went the... Blade of his halberd. Oh, well. We'll deal with that later. Oh, sorry. So, you can see he is just covered in armor. He's got these huge chunks of metal just to guard his back there. Um, I like this extra set of horns he's got hanging off of him. Just spikes and blades all over the place. And you can see all these white spots are where all the glue decided not to work. That was really annoying. We're going to have to do some green stuffing. There is a little air bubble there in his leg. I was going to say maybe the loincloth, that's okay. That's not a big deal. Uh, he only has one eye. One's covered up with a metal eye patch, as you can see there. Nice, intense-looking face. I mean, dude, this is just, just a big, bad dude, and he's going to be a lot of fun and a lot of a challenge to paint because I just can't help myself with these big monsters. i got to put them all together as soon as possible. Like I said, for whatever reason, none of these guys wanted to stay glued together. I have fought tooth and nail over the past week to get them to stay in one piece, and it's been painstaking, to say the least. It's literally been one piece at a time, and everything just wants to keep popping off. Um, but this dude... He is quite the impressive piece. He is a centerpiece model if I have ever seen one. I can only help but wonder what the big mounted versions were like. 
Um, I'm really hoping that Zealot's going to be able to put these in their web shop soon because I absolutely would love to get my hands on some more. I also would love to hand, get my hands on the Mimic figure that they just put out, but he was sold out within minutes, it seems, so that just wasn't going to happen. So again, just to kind of reiterate, just to give a sense of size, so although this guy's almost the same height as the Siege Breaker, which we said or Siege Minotaur was probably the biggest of the bunch here, he just takes up so much more space than the other dudes. I mean, our, my Mears one, who I thought was quite imposing and big looking, just looks like a pipsqueak compared to this Minotaur general. I mean, this guy, this guy earned his rank. And hopefully, once I get around to actually painting them and the glue wants to stay, we can show them off in uh, all their terribly painted glory, because I'm not the best painter, guys. Sorry. But I have no qualms showing it off, because at least it's a nice personal pride for myself knowing that I was able to accomplish it. So, these have been the Zealot Minotaurs from the Twisted Catacombs Kickstarter, who don't want to stay together, and hopefully, unlike me, you guys, if you ever get any of these, give them a seriously good scrub, because I thought I did, and they just do not want to cooperate with me. Hopefully, I'm the only one that has a case like that. But this has been High Lord Tamerlane again, with Obscurities in Miniature, whether they want to stay together in one piece or not. See you all later.